How's it going, New World? Sephir here, and today we are back. We are going to get more into the guide series this time, as we are getting ever so close to the New World official launch coming up here on the 28th. So I wanted to take the time to prepare you guys for what is going to come, to give you some ideas and tips around leveling. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. We are going to do a four-part series leveling guide, and that is going to be broken off into sections 1 to 15, 15 to 30, 30 to 45, and 45 to 60. So we are going to have you covered all the way up the, uh, you know, level of climbing experience here. Uh, so what we're going to look at first today is going to be the 1 through 15 section. And if you have not already, make sure to subscribe, like, hit all that stuff so that you can keep updated with the guide as it goes. This will be part one of four. So diving right in, we are going to break down the 1 to 15 leveling guide into three sections. We're going to talk about 1 to 5, we're going to talk about 5 to 10, and then we're going to talk about 10 to 15. So first and foremost, 1 to 5 is going to be the most simplistic. You will spawn onto the tutorial when you create your character. You will then, once you collect the item from Captain Thorpe, you will hit escape and s skip the tutorial, right? Just go straight into the game. There is one tiny exception, and that's if you plan to be a sword and shield user, you will then go a tiny bit further in the tutorial, get the combat action sequence where you break the guy's block so you get the free skill point, and then skip the tutorial. So it takes an additional like 30 seconds, not a big deal. So, once you've skipped the tutorial, you land smack dab on the beach of Eternum, and you run immediately to the main story quest giver, who is who we are returning to on the screen here. Uh, you will start to do the main story quest, and I highly recommend that you do the main story quest, and nothing but the main story quest, right? Do not stop along the way, unless it's for key ingredients that are going to be valuable to you coming up with the quest line. So what are key ingredients? So things to look out for besides the quest line is going to be a little bit of flint so that you can make additional tools in this camp before you leave, right? Before you leave, because having these tools on the way to the town is going to allow you to collect some of the materials that are required for the main story quest line so that when you hit the town, you don't have to backtrack, go out, do all that again, and then come back. So you're gonna be grabbing this. If you see any herbs, you might wanna pick this up along your way because it's gonna be very useful in your journey. Herbs are the bluish purplish kind of uh, things sprouting out of the ground. Uh, these are used to make weak health pots. They're quite nice. Bull crop will do the same thing as it's near rivers and stuff. So you can pick up a little bit of that if you wanna go that route. So that'll kind of get you set up in a decent position. On your way, or like while you're doing that um, one through five kind of deal there, you really just want to focus in on that main story quest. It will bump you right up to level five. As you can see, my character is level six, and we're getting into there now. So it's really fast. All I did was exactly what it told me to do. Um, so just do that very quickly, and then you'll get into the next part here. So five to ten. This is what we're going to be talking about now. This is where we're currently at. Um, along the way, you're going to need to get a few things on your journey to town, and I believe that's 16 rawhide, 40 wood, and 40 stone. If you have these things, then you will be in a good position when you get to town to immediately turn in the next main story quest. If you do not have them, you will have to leave town, go back out, and kind of deal that um, shenanigans, right? Uh, picking up flint along the way is good because you could hit a town board turn in for flint and it's a lot of experience for really nothing at all. Uh, so that's always nice to do. So if you see little piles on your way, pick them up. Do not go like super far out of your way. And same for herbs. Like if you see them, pick them up. But if it's like all the way across the map and you have to fight a bunch of monsters, just don't worry about that, right? So you're going to be looking into getting into town and completing the main story quest lines, right? So what does that involve? It just You're going to hit it up, you're going to craft a few things, you're going to talk to a few people inside the town, you are going to uh, you know, look at the auction house or the trading post, set your in, all the stuff. Basic, right? Super basic. So follow the main story quest line. It literally tells you exactly what to do. It will get you all the way to level 9, right? All the way to level 9. And here is where we start to get a little bit off of the beaten path, right? in that level nine area. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that's gonna look. 
All right, so here we are at level nine. As you can see, I have a few quests completed on the screen here. These are essentially the faction missions. It will bring you to the main story quest part where it's like, hey, I want you to do these faction missions and then come back and talk to me after that, right? You're gonna be getting into choosing your faction around this level. Uh, once you do choose your faction, you will be able to um, basically join a company, which is going to be one thing you want to do. And you'll also be able to flag for PVP since you will be as part of a faction. And these are pretty good things to do because, you know, you want to be, um, you want to be flagging at this level, like right around that nine, because you can get a lot of XP value from other players, but make sure you stick with kind of a group in a loose area. Uh, so that's kind of a good thing to note is that the PVP thing will get you leveling a little bit faster by just killing players, but mainly you're still rushing those main story quests and you want to get to the point where it tells you to go to the old man, uh, Jonas, uh, basically he's on the river. We call him the old man in the river. And once you get there, he will start to lead you on the path that will take you to main story quest line that will pretty much boost you up to the higher levels, right? So... Like, let's talk about this now. Like, as you can see, my XP just went up a lot, right? I went from 9 to 10, almost to 11, with that big jump just turning in those faction quests and stuff like that, so you can grab those things to kind of boost yourself along the way. Uh, once you get to the old man, he's going to follow you up with a couple other quests, so we'll talk about level 10 through 15 now, right? So 10 through 15 is kind of just an area in which you will hit up some quests within your region. So if you have any, like wherever you spawn, um, and eventually if you head to Windsward, I would start looking at quests there. That would be a great place to uh, gather side quests, a great place to gather faction mission quests. And you just really want to increase your XP level up because you need to keep up with the main story quest line, right? So it's going to ask you to go some different places and do some tasks, but always head in that main story quest line area and then just kind of complete things along the way. And you want to be looking really heavily at your town board at this point. So picking up things like iron, picking up uh, rawhide from animals while you're out there doing those main quests is going to be very important. You also need to do herbalism or harvesting a little bit because you need to raise your skill level up to a certain point so that you can get uh, river crests, right? If you cannot get river crests, then you cannot complete the quests around level 15, right? So we're, we're preparing for that point in which we're hitting 15. We need three river crests and three petal caps for the main story quest line quests. Okay, and once you get those three um, items of each, it's going to ask you to make a corrupted tenexture, and you are going to basically need to go back to the Arcana Station, or actually you can do it in a camp, so keep that in mind if you want. You can just do it in a camp. Make sure you have a little bit of water on you and stuff. You have to meet the requirements for that quest, like you have to gather the initial ingredients and then craft the potion, so just keep, in, keep that in mind, right? <laughs> so this is something you're going to need to do. Uh, so basically, you're just following that main story quest, preparing for the ingredients that you're going to need right around level 15, and you are going to be keeping an eye out for town boards. This is where town boards really come online, right? This is going to be your best source of XP, coupled with questing on the side while you make it your way to the main story quest line. Uh, another few side notes is that if you do spawn in Everlight and get lucky, you can basically... Uh, take some of the quests in Everfall because a lot of them lead to big quests down the line that unlock extra tuning orbs for like, uh, you know, Amarine Dungeon. And it also unlocks uh, the, eventually the Starstone Obelisk Dungeon at 35. So if you can prepare yourself in that area with side quests in Everfall, you can set yourself up nicely in that mid game area. So keep that in mind. That is something that you can do. Uh, but I would also recommend, you know, questing in whatever town is convenient to you. Um, especially if your faction owns that town, you're going to get quite a few bonuses and things of that nature. Uh, and try to focus on a area because if you get more cards in that area, you're going to be able to pick up some more bonuses, which is just going to help you out along the way. So that's pretty much it for the 10 through 15. It's the main story quest line. Very simplistic. Follow it. Make sure you prepare for those ingredients by getting up your mining and your uh, harvesting because you will need 
uh, mining down the line as well for the silver bar turn in which will be a little bit later in that like 15 to 20 zone for the quest uh, so basically gather enough to get about 25 skill 35 skill in each or like somewhere in that range right and this will do you justice it's this will get you to the quest parts that you need and have the ingredients that you need so that you don't have to run into the quest lady and then be like, oh no, I need these items, I need to go find them. Uh, so keep an eye out for River Crest, uh, keep an eye out for Petal Cap, which is mostly in Windsward, so that's why that's kind of a central leveling hub. Uh, so that's a nice place to go, it's all along the river. You could use the uh, map resources tools to kind of look and see where those things would be uh, located at. Uh, but really, most importantly, nail down that 30-minute timer on that town board because it's going to help you in the long run. You're going to be doing this a lot, and you're going to hear me repeat this. Town board, town board, town board. You need to do the town board. The town board is just phenomenal. Uh, I did a full guide on town board, so make sure you check that one out. It will tell you what quests are worth, what quests are not worth, and give you a good idea of how to make good use of your time on that. Uh, so your, your next best source after that is probably going to be some of these PvP missions, maybe killing some PvP players, but maybe even just doing the regular missions or the town board missions where it wants you to go retrieve an item from a named location, right? And, and this is going to be what's going to get you up to level 15. Uh, so this is part one of the guide series. We are going to have part two coming at you tomorrow. So be sure to check that out. That's going to cover 15 to 30. And then that should give you all the details that you need to kind of advance your level as quickly as possible. So you can keep up with some of these uh, really sweaty players and uh, definitely just make sure that you're in a good position to get strong resources for your company and also a lot of gold into your pockets while leveling here. Uh, thanks for your time, everyone, and do be sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell if you enjoyed this content. If you really enjoyed this content, check out our join button. Consider becoming a member today. We got a lot of uh, cool perks, badges, emojis, and benefits. Uh, so if you want to check that one out, it could be something for you. We also have a Discord that's open to the community. You're welcome to join and chat with like-minded New Worlders. And uh, just, uh, you know, meet some friends and discuss some builds. It's always a nice thing to do. So well, on that note, we will be heading out and we will see you tomorrow with the next guide.